Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's been a strange old Sunday here. There was no shopping done. There was no even shopping from the cupboards done. I'm going to do that tomorrow when I come home from work. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely been one of those days. Um, we went out, if you've seen the Facebook page, you'll have seen that we went to a place called Starfish Bakes and Cakes. Um, it's a couple that started doing online cakes, deliveries and things, and they've now opened up a cafe in the new area of Perth, which is called Bertha Park. So we'd never been there. Thought, let's go support local business. So we went and we had breakfast, which we haven't done for ages, and it was really nice. Lovely staff. And just as I was going away, she was like, do you want to do, you sure you don't want any cakes or treat? And I was like, ah, it's the whole reason I came here. So Patrick got a millionaire shortbread and I got a cookie dough chocolate crust cake brownie thing, which was huge and gorgeous. And I've only managed to eat like, I don't even think I've managed to eat a quarter of it yet. It's going to last me for ages. It's great. So that was well worth the journey. So we did that. Patrick went to go and fix his car. I came back here to finish off doing some decluttering. And I'm at that very, very weird stage in decluttering. In that, I don't know if I've told you before, my TV is sitting on top of a four drawer unit that used to be my mum and dad's. And it's too high and it's got a shelf because of TV. And I was like, right. And Kathleen wants to get rid of the TV unit in her room. So I was like, right, I'll take your TV unit downstairs and we can get rid of those drawers, which actually Patrick's going to take, so nothing's actually getting rid of. So I have emptied all my drawers, but she's been working, so she hasn't had time to empty her unit. So I've got all the stuff out of the drawers, but it's all sitting in the sitting room, waiting until I get this unit downstairs so that I can put the stuff in it, so that it looks neat and tidy. So it's driving me nuts um, because I'm so full of good intentions. And then I was like, right, okay, I can I can deal with this. And then I remembered, as I said, I broke my mug that I, I ordered from my very own shop. Um, so I ordered another one. And funnily enough, the one I ordered before I even got to this stage, see, I wrote it down. It's got the wee phrase on it. Start where you are. Use what you have and do what you can. And I was like, that's what I need to be listening to today. So... Once I got over my, I have not got anywhere to put this stuff, which was basically when I came back from breakfast because I'd done all the paperwork in the morning. I then came back and I was like, right, I still have three quarters of a bag of carrots that I bought on Sunday. I'm going to peel them because they were getting furry. Um, you know how they have the little white strands coming out of them? Blech. So I peeled them. Well, I chopped them all up first. Peeled half of them, put them in the air fryer and... The other half was ready to go. And I was like, right, I'll maybe have that for my dinner or whatever. Then Kathleen came in and she's like, what, some food? And I was like, there's a whole load of roasted carrots in the air fryer. So I had no roasted carrots left. So I've just done the second lot now. I have two bananas that are getting a bit, a bit old and black. So banana bread is next on the list. So I'm going to do some banana bread as well. Um... There's still like bits of decluttering to do that are dependent on other bits of decluttering. So that's going to be this week. That's what I'm going to do. That Well, that's the plan anyway. Whether it actually works or not, I don't know. But I have made, I made pasta thing um, for dinner tonight. There's enough for dinner tomorrow. So that means that tomorrow I'm not panicking about having to cook anything. It means I can take out tonight, I'm actually thinking I'll take out um, some chicken because I got some chicken and I portioned it up. I don't know if you remember one of my shoppings, I got a whole load of stuff and I portioned the chicken into smaller portions. So I'm going to take that out and do something with that tomorrow. I know I've got frozen carrots, I've got frozen casserole, veg, etc. So there's plenty there to get me through the week. So if I take the chicken out just now... I'm sorry, there's something big reversing outside my window and my blind's down, so I don't know what it is. It just seems a strange time to have something so large reversing. 
Um, but yeah, so we'll take the chicken out tonight before I go to bed. In fact, just when I finish this video. And then that'll be nice and defrosted for me coming in from work tomorrow. I can have my lunch and I can make whatever's for the next couple of days. Or whatever's for the next day, depending on whether Kathleen wants it as well. Now, I know some of you have said, um, does Kathleen contribute? Oh, yes. Kathleen has contributed since she started working. Um, the rule was you get your first pay packet. After that, you pay. And it's it's not, I mean, it's not nearly what it costs because she's my daughter. But she was always brought up in, you always get your first pay packet. Because you might need to buy clothes for work or you might need to travel to work or whatever. But after that, it's like your electricity, the internet, things like that. You know, the water heater, because we both like our hot baths, food, anything like that. You know, you need to contribute. I'm not asking you to pay as if you're a flatmate. I'm asking you to pay because that's what you would be doing if you were living on your own. So, yeah, Kathleen has always contributed. So... That's just what we do. Um, so when she gets paid, some of it comes to me. And that helps doing whatever needs to be done. So, yeah, we are, we're very good at it. We're quite used to it by now. Um, but that's, that's the plan for this week is to finish off with this decluttering because we're almost done if we can get things put where they should be. Once the things where they have to get put into get where they should be. And such things. So yeah, that's that's my plan for the week. That has been what I have been up to today. Apart from the fact that when I was checking the box of stuff that came out of Mum and Dad's big wall unit, that I I found my Kindle Paperwhite with the nineteen pages of books. So I may have been sitting reading with a few cups of tea. So my day for doing things has possibly been a bit shorter than it could have been. Care's not a jot. It's Sunday and I'm going to make more tea and I'm going to read more book. There will be no live because the cat's been sitting on my computer chair for hours sleeping. So I haven't broken down the computer system. And to be honest, I'm probably going to be in my bed by nine o'clock tonight. So we will see what we are doing um kathleen suggested a webcam we will possibly try that i don't know um because it would make it much easier if i could just sit at the desk so yeah off to go make more tea and go and have a look at the books i haven't read yet catch you later <laughs>